Hey YouTube, we are back with another fragrance video. If you're new here, my name is Leilani, and if you're returning, hey girl, hey. So we're about to jump into some tuberose fragrances. I have a few here that I just wanna mention to you guys and kinda go through and let y'all know my thoughts on them. And also, I love to hear your thoughts, so make sure y'all don't forget to sound off in the comments. I grabbed a few fragrances that I thought you guys might be interested in, and some that are very unique to me. Uh, the topic today is tuberose fragrances. With tuberose fragrances, they can lean sweet or they can lean very floral. Tuberose is a floral, but depending on how it is used and what it is mixed with, it can give off a different vibe to it. So just like any other note out there or any other fragrance where it may have a heavy dose of something, which will drive a floral more sweet or drive it more fresh or more this and more that. So that's one thing I wanted to point out to you guys. Like although a fragrance might have one of your signature notes in it, say you ever come across a fragrance and you're you're like oh my favorite fragrance is vanilla but when you smell it vanilla could be heavily used in the fragrance but there could be another note that you don't like that could throw it so far off you can't even smell the vanilla example Nishine Ani I love Nishine Ani for the vanilla part you know I'm not a big what is that ginger I'm not a big ginger fan um, if it's used a little bit or slightly because there is fragrances that I like that do have ginger in it but in Nishine Ani you get ginger and you get vanilla, but the ginger is in the beginning and it overpowers that vanilla. And I didn't even know it was a vanilla fragrance. That's how, when I was like a virgin to the nose, I didn't even know it was a vanilla fragrance. Same with, same can happen with tuberose. If you are a tuberose lover, let me tell you, like you can like a fragrance and be, and someone could tell you, oh, it has tuberose in it. And you're like, oh, okay, I might, I might like it, but it's more to it. You have to also look at the notes and see what's in it and what you may like, what you may not like. So with that being said, I have six fragrances here that I am going to show you guys. If you are a tuberose lover, um, I'm going to show you guys how tuberose can be done in the sweetest form, in the floral form, in this form. I'm going to show off some nice fragrances that I feel are mostly tuberose driven, but with the other notes in there kind of drives it in different directions so it gives you an array of that tuberose smell it's like smelling your favorite fragrance but it leaning this way or leaning that way so if you're interested in that keep watching this video and also don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to this channel take a moment right now and hit that subscribe button if you already if you made it this far into the video of me talking just you might as well hit the subscribe button so just go ahead and Click it, click. Yep, that part. Let's get into the video. So I know y'all probably don't care, but I just wanted to mention it real quick. I know every time I come on here, I'm always giving y'all, serving y'all some type of different look. But lately I have been kind of messing with my real hair. Um, I straightened it. Like in the last couple of videos, y'all seen how uh, thick my hair is, but I wanted to kind of like straighten it. So I put some heat to it and I'm not like on no natural journey or nothing. It's just that I took a break from wearing like the extensions or the lace fronts and all that stuff i mean i love hair i love my hair wearing fake hair i just love hair so yeah if y'all feeling that too go ahead and give me a thumbs up because you know and if y'all want a video on how i straighten my hair because y'all seen how thick my hair is um i have about 3c 4a hair so it is on the more thicker side i have very high porosity hair so if y'all want videos on how to manage it or y'all want videos on how i got it this straight because yes i did it myself and this this child this is one week old hair or we pushing a week so like five days old we getting closer to a week and I literally just straighten it but it's a technique so when you have really really thick hair it's a technique to get it really flat and really straight but I think I did a really good job considering how thick my hair is so but yeah anyway y'all don't care about that let's get into the video so the very first fragrance that we are going to discuss is Mancera's Velvet Vanilla. Now, don't let these names fool you, you guys. I must mention to you that when, that's the beauty of fragrances is the bottles. Sometimes the bottles are very attractive to you, the colors, or it might be, it's either the presentation or it might be the name that, that lure you in. When I first purchased this fragrance, Velvet Vanilla, I thought I was gonna get something very, um, maybe gourmand like a rich vanilla. Now, I think vanilla is listed in this fragrance, but immediately when you smell it, tuberose heaven, tuberose heaven, but done in a very bubblegum way. So I would say this is a more sweet vanilla. If you are into those kind of sweet 
um, bubble gummy smells because this is a this is very very this is when you smell this you're going to think of bubble gum period um, especially like those pink bubble gums like bubblelicious uh, I don't know if you guys remember that or know what that one is but that you're going to smell in here when you open it and it's beautiful it's not overly sweet but I say it's sweet because of the bubble gum smell so it's more so like a candy sweet and then you do have vanilla but this is not a fall dense or really gourmand vanilla it's literally like um, a very innocent vanilla with that tuberose that kind of mixes meshes well together and makes that bubblegum smell so if you're into a very like sweet not too sweet but candy sweet bubblegum kind of smell you're gonna really really love this and i think even if you don't like tuberose this tuberose is not done in the most floral way this is literally a sweet tuberose so i think if you kind of can tolerate tuberose and you do like bubblegum you're gonna really love this one so that's mancera velvet vanilla Next up, we have one of my favorite, favorite fragrances, like of all, okay, it ain't the favorite, okay, no, 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 let me retract. It is my one, one of the favorites. I can't say it's my favorite because I'm gonna come back and tell y'all something else is my favorite. And then my fragrances change with my mood. So I'm just throwing it out there. Like if I'm feeling this one day, I might be feeling something the next day or it may last for a month or two months or who knows. But this is one of my favorite fragrances. Something I would say would be a staple in my collection. And this is none other than Rouge Malachite Armani, uh, Giorgio Armani. This is their Privé line. You guys, this is like, oh, oh my gosh. I didn't even know, I didn't even know what this was like i had to look up the notes this is a very herbally like if you're into incense um and not that dry kind of choky incense i mean like if you're into a kind of sage vibe um with some earthy tones in there and tuberose like this is the way it's meshed i don't know what it is about the incense and sage that's in this bottle but it really smells like good lotion to me like when i first smelt it i don't smell what I'm smelling now, which is super weird. When I first smelled it, I couldn't even explain to you what I was smelling. And I think that was the incense and sage in my nose picking it up, trying to get familiar with it. I didn't know what it was. I was just like, it didn't, it didn't smell. It was just more so like, what is that? It was strange. It was new. But as I smelled, smelled the fragrance, it smells like good lotion. Like, I don't even know how else to smell it, how else to describe it. It really has a very clean tuberose like that earthy tuberose in there that's kind of lifting it up and giving it that that slightly fresh but more so herbal vibe this is definitely a herbal tuberose and and done in the cleanest freshest like i say good lotion way so i really love this fragrance i think it's a beautiful fragrance it is expensive for what you're kind of getting um so i've used this very sparingly but this is such a good fragrance you guys it's good next up we have amouage love tuberose this tuberose is your clean dainty floral slightly sweet fragrance this is it's much more creamy this smells like a creamy white floral type of tuberose like it's creamy, it's sweet. It reminds me a lot of Parfums de Marly, the pink bottle, I will put it up. Um, only that does not last as long. Um, and also that is a little bit more sweeter. They, they kind of smell similar, but only this is much more white floral driven. Whereas that one, you don't smell too much of the floralness, you smell more of the sweetness. And it's the same sweetness that's in here, but only this is more, like I say, dainty because of that white floral pushing through more. And it's definitely, to me, like a wedding scent. Just think of like a nice, heavenly, pleasant, girly wedding scent. That's what you would get out of here. And it's a little bit of, it's a little creamy too. It's not overly sweet like candy, but it's definitely more like a marshmallowy um, type of sweet. But it's a beautiful, soft fragrance if you're into tuberose and you kind of want it done in a sweet way, but, but not as, sweet as velvet vanilla because velvet vanilla is more candy sweet bubblegum but this one is a, a lot more soft and creamy um kind of dainty type of sweet very beautiful like I definitely i can definitely see this being like someone's staple wedding scent or if an everyday kind of clean girl type of smell 
if you want that everyday kind of clean girl type of smell, I'm gonna watch Love Tuberos. Next up, we have Georgie. Is this, yeah, this is Giorgio Armani, My Way. This is the intense one. I do have a travel size because I was testing it out and the original one, it's decent, but this one is a lot more amped up in that tuberose department. You can definitely, definitely smell the tuberose. This tuberose here is a balance between a little bit of sweet and, and floral. It's like, they meet kind of like in the middle. It reminds me more of a sophisticated church girl type of scent. I'm not saying church in an old way. I'm saying church in like a sophisticated, well put together. Like I would wear this fragrance to church. So it's very, very, it's kind of mature. Like this tuberose is definitely more mature and it's more, it makes me feel more put together when I'm wearing this. I can see myself wearing this like if I'm going to work every day, if I have a business meeting, um, anything that deals with some type of professionalism or where you have to be in your best manner. I would, and you want people to take you serious. I kind of feel like my way to bro tuberose no my way is definitely a very sophisticated fragrance so it is more tuberose driven but like i say this is where the tuberose meets in the middle of a, a little bit of sweet and floral very sophisticated fragrance i like it next up i have bdk perfumes tuberose imperial i have a sample size so i am going to put the full bottle on the screen so you guys can see what that looks like this is a very pure clean tuberose not synthetic at all this is your vibe right here. It's And it's also very sophisticated. It's not just super, super floral. This has a very sophisticated tuberose vibe to it where it's like pure. It's like you're getting pure tuberose with a few notes in the background dancing around. And it's not overly strong or annoying. If you're into tuberose for what it is and you don't want it to be driven in a sweet direction, in a floral direction, in a, all these other directions, you just want it to be pure. I would definitely go with BDK Perfumes, Tuberose Imperial. Last but not least, this is the cheapest one out the bunch. This is also a designer fragrance. Um, this is the cheapest one out the bunch and I think it's well worth the money for what you can get it for. It is Roberto Cavalli. Love this fragrance. This is also another one of those sophisticated... Why? I think the windows are being cleaned, so y'all might hear like water in the background, so ignore that. I'm just throwing that out there. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, this is a beautiful, like, this is also another sophisticated fragrance, but it's it gives you those um, churchy vibes because it is a tuberose woodsy type of fragrance. So, you're definitely going to get, um, it smells like an old wooden church. Like literally, that's what, it, I mean, it smells like a wooden church, but it also has some floralness to it and a tad bit of sweetness to it. So it's very mature. Um, very, very mature. That's a, that's the best word I could describe this. If you like something in more depth with a little bit more grounding, woodsy and floral, but slightly sweet so it doesn't taste it, it doesn't smell too harsh you're definitely gonna love Roberto Cavalli being a beginner coming into fragrances this did not this did not scare me away this did not make me feel like it was too mature it had a good balance in there and for the price tag you can't beat it so I do feel like give it a try if you do like tuberoses and you want something a little bit more mature and also appropriate in professional settings I would definitely give this a test because it's a it's a beautiful balance of like grown grown woman type of fragrance and i do like how the tuberose in here plays a nice part with the woods that kind of bring push through it's not a dry wood like i say it's tab is sweet so it's not going to give you that real kind of masculine type of smell it does have a beautiful dense base but it it does have a beautiful dense base and a strong smell of woodsy and tuberose, but it plays together very nice. So those are the six fragrances that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope y'all did enjoy it. So if you are feeling any of these fragrances or you have any of these, mention them in the comments below. I love to hear you guys' opinion on things. So yes, we're going to go ahead and close out this video and stay tuned for the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed and turn that notification bell on so y'all can get my next video. And until next time, time.